Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money where we talk about real life and money because you know schools aren't. Don't forget to subscribe so let's get started. So in this video I figured that we could get a little bit more personal. I don't like thinking about this stuff but it is a learning experience. So in this video we're going over three of my worst investments. Now there are others that I lost money on, um, but we can all learn from everything that we do, unfortunately. Um, if you're investing in the stock market, at some point in time you're going to lose money. It could be a huge amount, it could be a small amount. Luckily, most of these are, were smaller amounts, I'll go into them. Um, but these stood out to me because there were multiple learning experiences behind them. And I'm going to show it to you, so... You can learn from my things that I lost money on so you don't have to. This hurt thinking about this stuff, <laughs> but it is a learning experience. We could all learn from it, um, learn from your mistakes. So uh, let, let, let's just go. All right, so the first bad stock investment that I made was actually my first stock investment ever for multiple reasons. Uh, so let's just talk about it. It was Sirius XM, uh, ticker symbol S-I-R-I. It's a satellite radio company. Now to start off, the company itself isn't a terrible company to be completely honest. If you're thinking of investing in it now, you could definitely check it out. Uh, I learned like I think a year or a couple years ago, Warren Buffett started investing in them, uh, which of course made them pop a little bit. Um, but there were multiple reasons why I made it a bad investment. So let's talk about that. So the first wrong thing that I did right off the bat, I listened to somebody else. Now, don't get me wrong. You should listen and understand what people are saying. But like when you hear a stock from someone, you should then do your research on it to see if it is a good investment. Uh, this was a relative. I'm like, hey. Okay, so I bought in. I got in a couple grand actually. Um, so I ended up getting in like around $3. And it was doing good for maybe like a year or so. So it went from like $3 and then it went up to $4, which is a pretty good return of around 30%. So I was making money, I was happy, but once it was at like the $4 range, it was kind of just staying still. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I could probably just sell this and make money elsewhere because this really isn't moving anywhere. And of course, I didn't really understand the financials and the business and everything because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just whatever. And uh, so I ended up selling it. Now, if I walked away at that point, it would have been a great investment, but it didn't because it once I sold, it started to creep back up and I'm like, oh crap, I should get in again. So I did. But as soon as I did, it basically dropped back down to where I originally bought at it around $3. I'm like, that was bad. So at that point, I kind of let my emotions take over. Another mistake that you should learn from, don't invest with your emotions. Because when it went from $4 back down to around $3, I'm like, I just got to get out. I want to make, you know, I'll just take all my profits off the table. So that's what I did. I sold out. I lost the money that I gained and I stepped away from it. Unfortunately, from that point on, which is usually always the case, it rebounded and continued to rebound. So this point right now is actually around $7. So I, I could have doubled my money. So I'll show you the guys the chart on this one. This was this is Sirius XM. This is their five year chart. And toward the beginning of the chart is where I kind of got in. You could see a slight dip. That's when I got out, it rebounded, and it continued upwards. Now, it did stay stable for a couple years, actually, and then recently it just started shooting up. So, I, I don't know what to say. It hurts, guys. But, uh, you know, it wasn't, like, all my money, thank God, um, but just something to 
understand is definitely do your research so you understand the business. So if it goes back down, that would have been a fantastic buying opportunity. So it, when it rebounds, you make even more money and then you could actually make that into a fantastic investment. Moving on to the second worst stock investment that I ever had. Um, and I'm not basing it on like money amount that I lost. It's just like, it was so dumb. <laughs> with the knowledge that I understand now. Uh, but the second is GTAT. That's the ticker symbol, G-T-A-T. -T. I would show you the chart, but yeah. Yeah, so here's the deal with this one, guys. Again, I had no idea what I was doing. Luckily, it was just a smaller amount. It was like a couple hundred bucks. Um, but it was interesting because they were a glass provider or would possibly be a glass provider for the new iPhone at that point. I think it was around like 2014, 2015. So I didn't know what I was doing, so I just played with a little bit. Um, and then uh, the iPhone was like announcing their newest iPhone. I forgot which one it was. Um, but once it announced it, the company didn't get the deal. So at that point, and of course, again, not much research into the company. I had no idea what the financials were or anything, which you will learn about in a second. It was a horrible idea. Um, but as the new iPhones announced that they weren't using this company, the stock dropped a bit. Um, so I'm like, all right, I just got out at that point. And thank God that I did because literally, I think it was like the next week, the company went bankrupt down to zero dollars. Which is another lesson in itself. Uh, sometimes when you are in a stock or in a company or anything and it goes down and it just go doesn't go your way, sometimes it's better to get out as quick as possible because over the long term it could continue to go down. So it might as well just cut your losses at some point, especially with these smaller companies. So I did walk away with some money, uh, not as much as I started with, but they went bankrupt. I could have lost everything. And recently I found out maybe like a year or so ago, they actually, there's a lawsuit against them because the management didn't truthfully tell everything to the investors about the business. So there's a lawsuit going on. Long story short, I might be getting a couple bucks in a year or so because of the lawsuit. Um, but that was definitely an interesting experience. Do your research and understand the business and most importantly, the financials and numbers of the business. If I actually looked into it and realized that it was a garbage business, I wouldn't have invested in it at all. And the third and last, well, definitely not going to be the last bad investment that I would make, but um, one of the last bad investments that stood out to me was a biotech company of Celdex, CLDX. You can see their five year chart right now. Uh, biotech is very, very volatile and risky, as you can see, they're all over the place. Now, biotechnology is usually very volatile in general just because they're usually like testing different drugs they're in different phases of going through those drugs so what happens is if the drug does good the stock pops great you can make a lot of money or in my case of course um, if it does bad then the stock drops tremendously so that's why it's so volatile now I learned this one from a friend and it was a decent stock to trade initially, uh, I got in around maybe just over $3 and it shot up to like four or like pushing five possibly. So I think I'm in the short term, I could have, but I didn't make around like 30 to 40%. And if I sold, that would have been great. It was like within like a month. But as I came to learn, there is a difference between investing and trading. Investing is a company that you can invest in for the long term, like buy and hold strategy, which a lot of people like. You know, they just buy it and let it ride forever versus trading, you could get in and get out when it's higher and you can make profits that way. This was one of their times. So I got in, just, like I said, I think it was like $3.50. Smaller company you could see by their stock uh, price per share. 
So I was holding it, it went up and then it went down and I'm like, all right, crap, I'll just hold it, see what happens. Uh, new like drug testing was coming out. It was for triple negative uh, breast cancer and everything seemed all right. Of course, I could have been doing more research again, um, but when the drug didn't do so hot, it actually dropped 80% in one day. Luckily, I got out because it was continuously declining that and also luckily it was only a smaller amount. You know, I didn't invest thousands and thousands of dollars into this. Um, but just because of that one bag drug testing, it destroyed the stock. So just another example in the short term, I should have sold it, made my 30 to 40% return in like a month and completely not even walked away, should have ran away from it, but unfortunately we didn't guys. So that's my mistake so you guys would understand. Now biotech is interesting because you could make a lot of money like I said before, or you could lose a lot. So it's basically gambling and I wouldn't invest in this type of thing again because I don't wanna gamble with my money, I want to invest it. So hopefully you guys learned something from this, what I would have done differently with the first stock of Sirius, I probably, well obviously looking back, we all know now, um, but if I did more um, research, I would have realized it was a decent company, I could have held on to it, doubled my money, but didn't. Uh, for the second one, wouldn't have invested in it at all. And the third one, probably not, but even if I did, I would have sold it for a quick profit and ran away from it. So those were my three worst stock investments within the past, well, not within, I, I've been investing for around five years now, guys, and these stocks were within like the first couple of years of investing. I was going through the motions of not knowing what the heck I was doing. I learned from my mistakes and... Um, these were some of them. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. You can make fun of me all you want because I do all the time, especially with these horrible investments. Um, maybe you made a couple horrible investments. I like to hear what, how you guys lost some money. Um, but I might make another video of some of the best investments that I made. Uh, so that could be interesting. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like, you could check out my Instagram account just started. I have a bunch of bonus content link below. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.